in my workshop and I'm getting ready to run some tests on the tester bot uh, to compare acetone vapor polished uh, ABS specimens versus uh, those that haven't been exposed to acetone so uh, what I've got here is uh, um, they're also printed in different orientations as well but I'll write about that up later so what I'm doing right now is I'm just gonna squish this piece in there I'm loading it these two things are coming together the load cell measures the force and I measure displacement with the stepper motor and the known gear ratio inside. So to get started, let's see, I've got my Arduino serial monitor, pull, monitor pulled up. I'm pulling it up. And the, the program knows to reset it. So I'm actively reading the force and the displacement in real time. So I'm going to squish the load cell. Oh, well, I'm not on auto scroll now. There. So that middle column is the force. Fairly accurate uh, reading. So I'm just going to say run program. And it's super slow to get the force that I need. This machine can go up to 200 pounds because of the capacity of the load cell. There we go. But it does the job. What I feel is a good degree of repeatability. The previous specimen I ran broke at about 115, so I'll look at the specimen at that point. There you go. And it takes about 3,000 data points over one test run. It's not that many when you put it in Excel, actually. 80, uh, 88 pounds. if you can start to see the uh, cracking on the bottom it starts stressing and turning white 108 pounds 112 115 looking at two things at once here oh, I think we're stalling out boom alright now I stop it Broke clear in half. Well, here's the previous specimen anyway, just for reference. So they break in different different ways, they have different failure modes. They almost always break in the direct center though. This one it kind of hung on on the back side there. It's kind of neat. Now we'll uh, compare the the forces and the displacements at the end so we can check the uh, the stiffness and the ultimate loads between them and see if the acetone see what effect the acetone had on it and the orientation that it was printed in so it's been a couple hours for me uh, since the testing that you just saw and I've had a chance to to go over the results in Excel and it's actually been really interesting uh, so what I, what I uh, was able to determine uh, experimentally, just with a sample size of three per variable, is that acetone does something really interesting to ABS. So on a chemical level, it's reducing the strength of the of the plastic structure, and I and that was determined when I had parts that were printed uh, were printed in this orientation. So it's like this stacked cardboard. You print it, you know, layer by layer that way, and then when I tried to stress it this way. The uh, the effect the acetone which smooths the outer surface didn't really assist the material at all. It didn't make it any stronger. It made it weaker because of the, the chemical reaction. But when I, I did something uh, this time that I had not done before, which was print specimens vertically. So this is stacked cardboard just to show you the layer orientation. I printed them straight up and down, uh, and then. Uh, I want you know, and then the smoothing of the layers uh, did as I had expected it to do. It reduced the stress concentrations, uh, but it actually reduced them enough to offset the the weakening, the chemical weakening, and the parts were actually stronger with acetone treatment when loaded uh, in such a way that they would be stressing the outer uh, 
the, the bonds that way. And, uh, uh, and, and, and that's, that's really neat. And the, I guess the other th interesting thing is that uh, the, the acetone treatment doesn't penetrate very far into the, into the specimen. Uh, you know, I, ran, I put it in, this is the machine I did, I used to apply the, the acetone, it's just kind of a vapor, it's like fully automated, and then you just run for a couple hours and then you leave it alone. I put it in this dehydrator for a small period of time to help dry it out, uh, but that, that was it.